Welcome to the first video on asynchronous programming using MicroFocus's True Web Protocol. This is the first in a set of tutorial videos about using asynchronous development techniques and APIs in your True Web scripts. In this video, we will briefly go over asynchronous programming concepts in JavaScript and how they can be used in a True Web script. In the following videos, we will show examples of common use cases for the built in asynchronous APIs. Before continuing, please make sure that you are familiar with the promise concept of JavaScript as this is a prerequisite to understand the rest of the video. Each stage of the script is defined as an asynchronous function using the async keyword. This means that the function returns a promise and that the given stage will not be complete until that promise is either resolved or rejected. Let's add a new web request to the Advantage Online shopping website. This time we will send it asynchronously using the send API. This API returns a promise that resolves with a web response object. If we leave the script as it is now, the action will exit and the script replay will be completed before we get the response back. We can wait for the response by returning the promise. Let's add some code that prints the headers once the response is finished. We can see that the headers are printed correctly. Now we can add a log statement after the web request and see the flow. We can see that the new log message is printed before the web request has been sent. This is because in JavaScript, all the synchronous code runs before the asynchronous code. We can achieve the expected behavior by using the await keyword on any asynchronous command returning a promise. When using this keyword, the script will pause its execution until the asynchronous operation is complete. We can remove the use of the intermediate promise and obtain the response directly. This behavior is different from using sensync because it will allow other asynchronous operations to complete before continuing the script. Thank you for watching this video about asynchronous programming in TrueWeb. You are invited to watch our next video, Asynchronous Web Requests.